afternoon, I have to say, it didn't feel anything like an hour. It went really quickly, but it was like, it was going on an amazing journey. And there was just an incredible sense of um, peace and love. Um, and I felt some healing in this area. The meditations were, um, were fantastic because the visualisations were really vivid, very thorough. Life-changing, totally life-changing. Jerry is just fantastic. Um, the love in the room, you can really feel it. Vibrations that were travelling around. Just feel deeply, deeply loved. And the energies that just knocked me for six, knocked me out, made me rest. Made me... Um, I had a lot of things in my life that I had to let go of. Um, and I did. And then um, I came to and my attention was distracted and I came back and it just felt as if my my whole body was full of pink roses. It was lovely. During the meditation um, I felt like a coloured mesh coming down and it kept on coming, coming down like a, a big blueprint really. Um, just kept on sort of coming and coming and coming and coming. And I felt as though that was uh, some ancestral grief that was lifting out. And I felt like I was able to start breathing again. It's like I was coming out of this sort of lake of tears. You can just feel that the, the vibration, it feels like it's lifting in the room and you want to share that love with everybody. It's just very fragrant and soft and, and beautiful. You know? So that was a really nice experience. The meditations were incredible. I could feel um, the energy in the room moving, my body started to move. I just feel so much better, so, so much happier, more peaceful. Amazing experience. Your heart's getting bigger, you just feel light, you feel like you're, you're drifting, you're, 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 you're coming up. I just feel, you know, very much lighter, I have to say. And I really did feel my energy going out into the room and I felt myself becoming one with the energy in the room. We all have energy cords inside of us, not all of us, but some of us, and they cause blockages. Okay, and if you run your hands, we're going to do this tomorrow, but if you run your hand over someone's body, you can either feel it or see it. And when I come to Shirley's chest here, it's huge, massive. So you can grab it just like grabbing a piece of rope, okay, and just pull it. And with your mind's eye, maybe with your physical eyes, you'll see that coming out. Like it goes right down, right down deep into here. And when you pull the energy out, what I normally do is I just see it in my mind, just turn into light straight away. Feel that? I feel that. I feel yeah. Yeah. Of knowledge 
and wisdom. Okay? And when you journey inwards, that knowledge and wisdom is going to come to the surface. You know, you're deeper than the Pacific Ocean and taller than Everest. Everest. You know, you're not just confined in this little body. We're not square people living in square boxes, but that's what the government wants us to do. They want to control us. But we need to break free. That's why they, they pump so much money into religion, into the church, into faith, all of this different stuff. Okay? That's why they send us to school. And all it does is it confines us and puts us in boxes and stops us looking in here, which is the most important place. When we're born, we're born into love, we're born into light, we're pure, we're innocent. We're little kids, we run around, we play, we scream, we cry, we jump, we do whatever we want to do, we're curious. We stick our hands in the DVD player, we do things that you know our mums and dads tell us not to do, we burn ourselves on the stove, we just explore. Okay? And what we need to do as, as, as adults is go back to that place of, and, and find our inner child. As we grow up, we're conditioned by society, our school teachers, we're conditioned by our parents, um, all the people, all the influences, television, all this sort of stuff, and this authenticity gap is created. We live our lives as adults trying to fit into society. And the reason this happened is because as kids, we wanted to be loved. So we thought, if we be like our parents, they're going to love me a little bit more. If I be like my uncle, my auntie, or the person on the TV, or my school teacher, they're going to love me a little bit more. And what's happened is we, we've become unauthentic. We live our lives to please other people. And it causes us pain. It causes us anguish. It, it, it keeps us living in fear. You know, this is why it's hard to step outside of our church or our community. Because we fit, think that if we step outside of our church or our community, the church and the community isn't going to like us anymore or love us anymore. They're going to ostracize us. And we feel that we're going to be alone. But actually, being alone, the, alone actually means all one. So, by stepping away from your community and your society, being courageous, taking a path, blazing a new trail and doing what other people don't do, you're actually connecting to everybody, to everything, to the cosmos, and not being confined to your church or your community or family or whatever it is that you've got involved in. This energy is pure love. It's giving you a brand new system. New atoms, new molecules are flooding inside. Inside your so-called body. Filling you up. New energy. With every step you take, you're becoming more powerful. Find your cheekbones, your eye sockets, and realize that none of this is you. It's just a temporary house for your soul, for your spirit to live in for a short period of time. Whether that's 60 years, 90 years, 120 years, it's just a blip, a drop in the vast ocean of time. You can see your ribs your heart that's beating and know that this heart beats effortlessly what makes it beat is the true essence of you, your spirit the life force inside of this body making that heart beat continuously 24 hours a day thousands and thousands of times What an amazing gift it is to have this body to walk in, to play in, to jump in, to run around in, to fully enjoy life in. And whilst you're aware of your body and your breath, bring another part of your awareness outside of your body and look down at yourself, sat there in a the chair. How can you be in three places at one time? It's because you're multidimensional. 
You can be in a thousand places at any one time. You're a spiritual being having a human experience inside this vehicle. Know that you need to take good care of it. You need to nourish it. You need to nurture it. And the more you do, the more your body's going to give you back. The trunk of the tree is pulsating energy down through your crown chakra, down through the top of your head, and into your body. You're remembering so much. You're remembering the truth. You're remembering who and what you truly are. You deserve so much more. And right now, you're downloading the information the knowledge and the wisdom to make everything possible. This information is crystal energy. as a human being are made of crystal. You're like a flower. You're like a tree. All you need is oxygen, light, and some water. You can use your energy for other things instead of to digest food. Use it to travel multi-dimensionally, to create new worlds, new paradigms, new global loving communities that live their lives with love and compassion through your legs. Father, Sky and Mother Earth are giving you everything you need. Say thank you and be grateful. It's changing your life. Upgrading your frequency. here so take in everything that you need if you'd like to speed up the download just ask
meditations were incredible. Deep wave of peace flow over me. Jerry is just fantastic. Um, the love in the room, you can really feel it. It's the amount of energy that was created in the room. Amazing, absolutely amazing. My head was moving as if, I don't know, it was like some angelic chiropractor was moving my head and it felt very fluid. And I felt some healing in this area. Vibrations that were travelling around. Your heart's getting bigger, you just feel light, you feel like you're drifting, you're, you're, you're coming up. Just feel deeply, deeply loved and that was beautiful. I feel that the the vibration, it feels like it's lifting in the room and you want to share that love with everybody. Um, I had a lot of things in my life that I had to let go of um, and I did. Um, and getting it to move in directions it hasn't moved for a, a while. I can, feel, I can feel my body from head to toe vibrating. Life changing, totally life changing. 